Good morning. Mediocre morning wrap-up program for Monday, May 3rd, 2021. I want to do a little bit on uh, football, European style. Um, I really didn't get a chance late last week to go and and talk about um, the Champions League or the Europa League um, semis. Uh, They had the first legs last week. As I had previously gone over, um, Chelsea's going to to be hosting uh, on Wednesday. They're going to be hosting Real Madrid. They had a one-one draw the first time, so that game will be or that match will be on Wednesday. And on, on Tuesday, of course, Man City's going to host PSG. Man City's up two-one in that one. Um, could go to away goals when they're when they're as tight as they are. Um, so we'll see what happens on these. Um, I kind of like, kind of like Real Madrid to take the first one, and I kind of like Man City to take the second one. Man City's got a nice club. Let's see what happens. Europa League. Um, Roma lost to Man U six to two in the first one, and uh, Roma's gonna gonna host them over in uh, in Italia. Uh, on Thursday. Also on Thursday, Arsenal is going to host Villarreal. Um, Villarreal take, took the first one 2-1. to one. Arsenal looked awful in the first half. That is um, coach now versus coach before. Uh, Unai Emery is the Villarreal coach. Um, this could cost... This could cost Arteta his job, I think, if he if he gets bounced by, by Villarreal. Um, this is a guy that wasn't good enough. He's had a better winning, he had a better winning percentage than Arteta has so far. I like Arteta a lot, but we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Um, as it relates to the Premier League, four games left. Um, they finish on May 23rd. Man City, um, they're about to clinch their first win. In fact, they would have clinched yesterday if it wasn't for the debacle at uh, Old Trafford, where they had to postpone the game between Liverpool and Man U. Um, a, a, a Liverpool win would have would have clinched the title for Man City, um, but it, it's just a it's just a matter of time. Um, Man U second. Um, we got Leicester. Third, Rogers has done. Brendan Rogers has done a really good job. Probably coach of the year there, at Leicester. Um, and then uh, Chelsea is fourth. Uh, they're up over three points over West Ham. Very surprising team there. West Ham is in position for the Europa League right now. They're two points up over Tottenham, four points up over Liverpool. But again, Liverpool has that one game in hand. Um, so they could be a factor there. They might be able to get back to Europa. Um, we'll see what happens there. Relegations-wise, they look pretty solid. The three relegation teams look to be Fulham, uh, West Brom, and then Sheffield United. Um, Fulham is down nine. Fulham's down nine points under Newcastle. Newcastle put on a nice spurt there, there, right near the end of the season here. It's going to save their bacon. So we shall see um, how all that works out. Um, but yeah, we'll see uh, later this week. We'll see how some of these things go. There's still a lot of protests going on as it relates to the six Super League teams, uh, even though they've quickly disbanded that. Um, just a lot of, of, of British bedwetting hooliganism at its finest. They've really overreacted. Um, it's just... One minor detail, when a guy or an owner buys a team for millions and millions of dollars, it's his team, not yours. Just, we all need to figure that out. Um, I don't like what they did. I think it's good that they disbanded it, but um, it's their team. You can't tell them what to do with it. You can't say, well, we're, you know, we're going to force you to sell. That's, um, that's bed wet and stuff right there. That's my hot take. That's all I got for today. So night got in here nice and early for you. Um, I'll be back this evening for the water cooler. And so um, have a happy Monday.
and I will holler at you later. Peace out, my homies. See ya.